Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Magda and today we're gonna ask ourselves who should go on Erasmus. So let's get started. First of all, instead of my obvious opinion, which is everyone, I would say a few more points about specifically who should go. But if you're a student and your university allows you to go on Erasmus, I really, really recommend you. But specifically, if you are a person who is learning some languages or have interest in some languages, always wanted to learn some language, want to master their English or any other language, Erasmus is an amazing opportunity for you. You go for a few months or almost one year, you have real contact with the language, either with English or with any other foreign language of the country you are going to. You're learning in this language, you meet people from all over the world, you get to know that being fluent doesn't mean C2 level of the language, but it means that you can fluently communicate with everybody on different levels, with different accents, talk with them about different topics, from like daily topics up to the stuff that you study, maybe the stuff that you will work in the future. So if your interests are languages, if your interests are improving them, go for it. Erasmus is an amazing place for you and it will help you for sure. Number two, Erasmus is for people who want to get to know new cultures. So if you watch some movies, if you see some people on the street and you are interested in the culture of other countries, even if it's like a movie from US and let's say when you were young as me, I was watching High School Musical and I wanted to always see how the high school in US is. That's one of the opportunities. You can meet people, you can talk with them, you maybe go to the country of your interest. So I don't know if you love, for example, Italian movies or Spanish movies, that's a great opportunity for you to go and check how it is in comparison to what they show on TV. The same with any other interest. You hear the language on the street and you think like, oh, it would be so nice to talk with them, it would be so nice to get to know them. That's exactly the interest that will help you so much on your Erasmus as an exchange student because it will just allow you to be interested every single day in every single person you meet and they will be not only from different countries but also from different cities and regions in their own countries and as I figured it out during my exchanges every single region or sometimes even a city have their own culture, their own things, their own dishes so you will learn a lot about other cultures during your Erasmus. Another reason for you to go on Erasmus is if you are thinking to study abroad, not only as an Erasmus or as an exchange, but for example, like me, I always wanted to do my master's degree abroad. So for me, going on Erasmus was checking the country, checking the university, checking how I like it, how is it to study actually abroad, to go alone without anybody, making friends, getting to know the culture, getting to know the people, learning new language and living totally independently. Also for me, outside of my house, because in Poland I used to live with my parents when I went on my Erasmus. That was the first time that I was actually living alone, when I had to put my budget, do my groceries, have a house, clean it, do my own laundry and all that stuff that we have to do when we are living alone. So yeah, so if you are not sure if you want to study abroad or you want to check how is it, that's a great opportunity. This is like your trial period of how it may look. From my experience, studying abroad will be a little bit more chill than Erasmus because Erasmus is literally a few months of your life condensed into one huge experience where you are just always stimulated by different things. When you are abroad for, for example, master's degree, it's much more longer, maybe not much, but like at least twice longer if you went for one year on your Erasmus and then master's degree is two years. So it's already twice longer you live in one city, you don't travel that much. At least that's what happened to me. I didn't travel that much. I didn't party that much. I was more like a student, less like an Erasmus student. But it's a good trial period. It's a good thing to check how you like it, how you enjoy it, and if you even like it. For me also, it allowed me to figure out where I want to go to study because before going on my Erasmus, I was thinking about Spain and in Italy. And after my Erasmus in Spain, I was like, I don't really like how they teach. I don't really like their universities that much. And I didn't fall in love with Spanish people. Even if now here in Luxembourg, I have a lot of Spanish friends. Back on my Erasmus in Spain, I didn't get to uh, get too well with Spanish people. I, but I loved Italians. I love the Italian culture. It was also much easier because of the how the university works. Because in Spain, it's four years of, let's say, bachelor and one year of master. In Italy, it's like in Poland, three years plus two. So many different reasons, but it may help you as well in a choice of the country for your master's degree or any other degree that you want to do. Who else should go? People who are shy and actually want to change. So people who want to improve, people who want to a little bit change their lives, go a little bit out of their comfort zone because Erasmus will change you. It will start with being more independent, more open-minded, learning new languages, getting to know other people, 
being more friendly, less shy, because you cannot be shy. If you are shy, you're gonna stay alone. So in one moment you will realize, I have to go to people, I have to talk with them, I have to make friends, and you will make your group of friends. You will also realize a lot of different things, that's like life lessons. So if you are a shy person, I recommend you a lot. And if you are thinking if you should go, yes, you should. If we talk already about the friends, people who should go on Erasmus are people who wanna make international friends. Friends that will be all over the world. Friends who speak different languages, who are different than you, who you may face with the culture shocks, who you will be able to get to know better, you will be able to ask about their country, about their family, about how it works, how they do. You will see that some people are closer, some people are farther away in a distance way of the people, some people give kisses, some people hug, other people will touch you during the conversations and that's all you will see as well. On the other hand, you will see other people who are very distant, who are a little bit colder, who don't enjoy that much touch, who don't enjoy so much emotions or don't show them so much. So you will be able to see different people, make different friends, maybe even better friends that you have back home. So this is a great opportunity for you to have friends all over the world who you will be able to meet sometime in the future, mostly because when you're already at university and you're going on your Erasmus exchange, you already have some type of opportunity to travel, you have some money, so you have the resources to meet these people. But I can even tell you, I meet people who I met on my Rotary Youth Exchange, who I met on my Erasmus, who I met on my short-term exchanges. So yeah, so it's all possible. And these friends may stay forever. Another type of person who should go, it's a person who loves to travel. So if you love to travel, Erasmus is an amazing place for you. You will be able to travel a lot to different places, not only in the country you're going to, you will also have a little bit less studying, a little bit less time at university, so you will be able to actually travel all over Europe or even somewhere else because you will not have all these responsibilities that you have back home. But even with Erasmus, I did, with Erasmus organizations, I did travel as well in Spain, in Portugal and as well in Morocco. So like I did three different countries, I could have gone much more if I wanted to do it myself by booking the flight and organizing some trip. But with my Erasmus organization, Erasmus family, I was able to travel already in three different countries. So you will have that opportunity as well. I cannot guarantee you that you will be able to travel to many different countries. But if you go, for example, to Poland, you will have some trips to Germany, some trips to Czech Republic, maybe Ukraine, all over Poland and many, many countries because Europe is huge. But if you are closer to the border, you're going to be able to see much, much, much more. Another reason to go for Erasmus is when you need a change and you feel like you need a change in your life and that will be a change that will allow you to get to know yourself, allow you to finally change, figure out the path of your life, figure out what you want to do in your life with the career, with, uh, I don't know, love, friends, who is important for you, what are the um, actually priorities in your life. So if you need change in your life, you are the type of person who should go on Erasmus. And last two things, first one is a little bit connected to the last thing I mentioned. It's actually good for people who are trying to find themselves. You will find yourself. You will find the answers to many questions that you ask yourself, or you don't even know that you ask yourself, but you have this blank in your mind. You will find these answers. And last but not least, it's definitely for people who are adventure seekers. So if you love adventures, if you love some type of no plan or plan that actually is ruined, some adventures in mountains or in the sea with different people, when you have to do it on budget and maybe you don't know the language, maybe you are totally in a different continent, that's exactly the thing that will suit you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. That helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. So this video will reach more people. Let me know in the comments down below who do you think should go on Erasmus and if you've done your Erasmus and where. And if you enjoyed this type of topic, subscribe to my channel. I talk a lot about Erasmus, Rotary Youth Exchange, my life abroad currently in Luxembourg and the university stuff. So if you like this type of topic, subscribe to my channel so you will not miss any of my future videos. And here I leave you the video about the costs of my Erasmus and the study abroad playlist. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you in another video.